Hey yo, and welcome back to Enshrouded. Last time we started to build this mountaintop mansion, which is coming along quite nice, but we did run out of uh, a lot of resources. So I've spent the last couple of hours just kind of grinding away to get what's hopefully going to be the rest of what I need. I don't know, but basically I'm going to try and finish this build. Now, finish the roof on here, here and up top, and then put in walls and all that kind of stuff. And it's kind of the outer layer done. And then we can actually move on to the inner layer. So set up the rooms, uh, set up the, you know, hangout space, I guess you'd say. And then all the spots where all the crafting space will be. Additionally, we'll also have a bit of an underground storage section, which is pitch black down here, but I'll put in some lighting. Yeah, it'd be cool. It'd be a nice big base. Uh, loads of room up here. Lots of real estate for us to actually expand outwards as we progress through this playthrough. Can put in some farms. More living space if we need. Like, loads of room. Loads of room. But it's a pretty cool view. All right, let's get started. Let's get... Oh, my ankles. Let's get this roof sorted. So that should hopefully look pretty good. Yeah, I like it. All right, let's get this roof on. Top on, done. It's nice. I like it. Very rustic. How does that look then? Or it's gonna be too... It's too high. I'm not a huge fan of it, but there's not a whole lot I can really do. Yeah. It'll have to do. And uh, I feel like there needs to be like a less angled roof. Because it's only it's only you've only got the one angle. But uh, it'll do. Yeah, look, it's not perfect. It, it is a flat roof, which I'm not a huge fan of, but that's fine. Eh, yeah, it'll be fine. This looks a bit odd. I know I'll do something to make it look a little bit more normal. Maybe. All right, let's get these walls in, finish these walls off. So that I can roof this up.
Even the audio changes when you're under it. It's got like an echo to it. That's cool. Nice little feature. Alright, so I want a balcony out here as well. Do I want to wrap it around? I do want to wrap it around. Is why not? Let's get the ceiling in. Now we have a fully enclosed roof. Very boxy. Alright, I just realized I put in a window in a really dumb spot. What was I thinking of putting a window up there? Look at this. Stupid. Hooked. All right, cool. I knew it over there. I just didn't think of it that stuff for some reason. Nice. It's coming along nicely. Uh, it's not a perfect build for like, you know, for my first proper build in Entrouded. It's not bad. I do. I like like the uh, the gutter, like the additions that they've done with the guttering. Like they actually thought about it. I mean, imagine it in your head. Yeah. It'll be all green and, and, and grassy and stuff like that. Might be some like, you know, smaller buildings off to the side for farming and livestock and stuff like that. But yeah, it's, 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 it's looking all right. I'm sure it's not like, you know, the, the, the most perfect build, but it's not bad. Like I like, it. I like it, right? Am I just justifying this to myself now? That was happening. Nice. I like it. It's a very minute thing, but I like it. More of a structural feel, I guess. I know it doesn't really do anything, but I like the look of it. Yay. Super high. <laughs> I don't wonder if I did this, the, the, the walls too high, but ah, I should be right. All right, let's finish this roof. I mean, I feel like this probably wouldn't be how you would do it. Like, you'd, I feel like you'd have like an angled thing, but there is literally no angled. I mean, like, yeah, I got stairs, but you can't really use stairs for this. So this is my solution for the time being. Nice. There we go. All right. Yeah, definitely not how it would look in real life, but well, that's how it's looking here. That <laughs> looks kind of jank. I am here for it, man. I'm Australian. Jank is, you know, this is how we roll. All right, so now I'm good to start working on the rooms, the actual bedrooms themselves, but I need to sleep first. Nice. All right, let's start working on bedrooms. So what I'm thinking, 
I mean, bedrooms are going to be pretty small for them. Just because I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of companions that I need to pick up along the way. So, I don't really want to give them massive bedrooms. Wait, where's this room? Where's this one start? Oh, it starts there? Dude, that is tiny. But that's, that's like a weird shape. It's kind of big. I'm not going to fit. Hmm. How do, do I, do I just go like, you know what? Do I just, do I just go like, screw it? Are you just going to deal with it? Like, is that what I do? Because I can give them like a slightly more room. Do I just go like, meh, that's the room that they get? I think I might have to. It's small, but I might have to. Yeah, I'm going to. I don't particularly want to, but I'm going to run out of room real quick. Uh, it looks weird because there's like so many windows. Like it'll look really weird from, from the outside, but I mean like I gotta give them all. Huh? I need to fix that up, but I gotta give all of them windows. Like, oh, never mind. Rise, <laughs> rise! I find one that I haven't given a window to. Um, yeah, I feel like I need to give them all. Why am I tilting my head like I'm actually looking? I need to give them all windows, so I need to put the walls in. But this is probably the most say space saving, so I can actually fit everyone in. One, two. Like, this is enough room for 12 companions so far. I have six already plus the farmer, so that's seven. So I, I don't know how many more I'm going to get, but I need to actually try and save a bit of space. Otherwise, you know, I'm going to run out. I did not know I could run out those windows. How did that window... Oh, it's the whole wall got pushed out. I see... Okay. That fix that. Yeah, it does. All right, cool. So I'll do that and then I'll have the, I don't think I can show you, but it's like the standard bed. I'm going to put like standard bed in. No, not like a special fancy bed. Just like a normal one. I don't know. I'll check what ones I can do, but it'll probably just be a normal bed for now. And eventually I'll upgrade all their beds. That'll be the one under this one is what is what they'll get. I like how I get this massive room and they all get... <laughs> I saved their lives. So, I mean, like, you know. I'm allowed to have a bigger room. I mean, they're not the ones that go out. Like, it's it's me that goes out. They're the ones that kind of chill out in, uh, you know, in the base and just relax while I'm out risking my life. So, I think that's fair. We've got the rooms finished. Yeah, you know what? If I got survived, like uh, saved, and and like all I had was like a little room like this, though, like I'd actually be fine with that. Like that's actually because like you're safe. Yeah? No? I would be. Um, all right, cool. Let's get some beds sorted and then we'll move everyone in. Welcome. 
There we go. We got the crew all in. They all have their little beds. You stuck? No. They all have their uh, little beds in their bedrooms. Oswald gets the bigger bed just because he was the first one. So eventually I'll upgrade everyone, but... Yeah. She's already asleep. Yeah. It's nice. And this will kind of be like a little living quarter area, like hangout spot out here. Down here will be uh, workbenches. That's where I'll, that's where I'll put down here. So any workbenches and stuff like that and, and just that kind of stuff. And then out here will be the crafting section. So I'll go pick, I'll go grab all the uh, stuff from the previous base and move all the uh, crafting equipment out here. So this is all filled in. sorted room sorted I see you do I keep the trees I feel like I should keep the trees but it's not it's not hundred percent finished there's still gonna be like a lot more that I'm gonna want to do but the actual you know core the part that actually needs to be done is done um, do 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 over here we go like the house is done. Got everything that we need. It's sorted. We've got the current crafting stuff. Obviously, I'm going to need to get a lot more, but I need to progress the story to get a lot more. So there's no point in like going crazy with this build right at this point because there's still so much I need to do to be able to fill out a lot of these areas. But, you know, for the time being, it's done. Like I said, this will kind of be fitted out. This will kind of be like a little workshop style thing with like a little hangout area. Everyone's already walking around. Up here will be like, you know, fireplaces, tables, this kind of like that, that kind of stuff. Nice little balcony out here. Nice view of the Alps. I need to put window frames in every, like all these rooms. Otherwise people can just walk out, which isn't good. I need to put a bed in here still as well, but you know, all the bedrooms are sorted. Beds will definitely be upgraded in the future. You know, maybe I'll figure out a better way of actually doing the um, bedrooms, but it's fine for now. All the frames need to be sorted for that. But I mean, the build is done. Like, this is sick. Like, I don't know about you, but if I was... Oh yeah, I need to put like dirt around here. But I don't know about you, but if I was rescued, like this would be a pretty cool spot to live. Like top of a mountain. So nothing can get to you. You're like far away from everything. Really nice views. Just rebuilding civilization at the top of this like mountain hill kind of thing. I guess it's a false peak because the peak would be up there, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it's cool. I'm quite happy with it. But what this allows me to do is progress the story more. And we have like a little, you know, Bouncing off point. Because we definitely didn't need that. I'll clear all that out and, you know, bring all the materials over. But I'll do that off camera because it's tedious and boring kind of thing. But next time, we're going to continue with the story. Some more missions. Keep going because there's obviously a lot to this game that we haven't done. So, loads more quests to do. I know the companions that we have want us to do a lot more quests to get their crafting stuff. You know, like these things get more of these so we'll do some more of those quests to uh you know further the story but i'm happy with what we've achieved today i'm actually really happy with what we've achieved today we finally have the mountaintop mansion actually finished still needs to be finished but it's finished it's livable that's sick anyway 
If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the future ones. I do a bunch of other stuff with other games as well. So if you want to, hit subscribe. Join the Discord if you want as well. There's a bunch of us in there. Anyway, thank you very much for hanging around to the very end. And I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.